You've almost brought a nation down with your greed. Your greed is all about money. You have put seniors out of their homes. You put the disabled out of their homes. Most of all, you have devastated communities. You have brought down families. You have just done all the corrupt things that could possibly be done to make your dollar bill. Right now, I'm going to let you know some of the things here with Wells Fargo leading in. Wells Fargo is leading in foreclosures with 11 million 616 foreclosures in their pipeline. That means nationwide, nationwide, 11 million. Come on now, something's wrong with that picture. When we look at corporate America, something's wrong with that picture. While families and seniors and cripples with mounting debt and home foreclosures, Wells Fargo and CEO John Stump's compensation check for 2012 was $22.9 million. Compensation check for 2012, $22 million. Man, this is in one year. One year. I guess they say a job well done. A job well done for the banking institutions and CEOs, which none have went to jail. No corporation has been forced to go to jail their CEOs. We hear they're too big to fail and too big to go to jail. Well, there is no one in this nation too big to go to jail when you break the law. And that's just what Wells Fargo did with their predator lending. When the government put the lawsuit against them, they said no contest, we'll pay. No contest because it was predator lending, it was discrimination, it was wrongdoing. So let's pay the tab and move on. Well, we want to tell you, no, we're not moving on here at our level because we were the ones that you took our homes from. We were the ones that you brought down in the society where we're out here homeless in some senses. We're fighting to get our properties back. We're fighting to stop this nation from being what it already has been through, uh, a depression coming on through the banking institutions. I would like to tell you that, you know, the banking says, well, we're working on solutions. Well, you know, they haven't came up with no solutions. But we have solutions. We have people that sat down and worked on solutions that we can sit down with the bank if they come and have a dialogue with us. We can show them a way that they can have good faith. And we can have good faith. And people can stay in their homes. There's a solution to the problem. You just have to sit down and work with us. Because we have solutions. We're just not out here just hollering about it. We have solutions that will work. And what we need is we need the CEOs and those others execs that make those decisions to come and sit at the table and have a dialogue with us to save people's homes, to keep families together, to build communities back up. That's what we're asking for, and we will show you how to do it. It, it, it takes common folks to let those that think they know it all and control the money that think that they have other solutions that will work. But we have a solution that will work. We just ask you to come sit down and have a dialogue and work with us. And that way we can solve this problem. We can solve the problem of simply saying, oh, the market is getting better because people are short-selling their homes. That's people walking away from their homes.